Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things cryptid-related, unknown paranormal. I'm your host, Parker. And today, I would normally be doing a cryptid ratings, but I just found something so, so insanely weird that I had to cover it with you guys. I had to share this with you guys. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this video. It's either going to be the weirdest conspiracy theory I found, um, conspiracy theories keep getting weirder, or just something along those lines just because this is the stupidest weirdest conspiracy theory i have ever found it's a weird new conspiracy theory that's kind of come into the surface and <laughs> it's fucking wild and i <laughs> i don't know how to feel about it um but i i just want to i just want to have let this be known 100%. I do not believe this conspiracy theory at all. It is the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but it's funny as all hell. Um, and it involves iCarly. <laughs> well, the theme song, at least. But um, I first heard about this on the show that I watched called The Buddhism Hotline. Um, the guy said it as a joke, and I and I love watching that show. It's a fun show. Um, just kind of keeps me busy and stuff. And just, I have love listening to it in the background. It's a really weird show. Um, but he mentioned how the iCarly theme song is about neo-Nazis. And I looked into it and there's actually a very, very small community out there that believes the iCarly theme song is about neo-nazis and it's trying they're trying to uh, make this like a more well-known conspiracy theory and everything get people on board but it is the weirdest thing i i took some notes about like what they actually like think about this theory and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go through what they said so so for those of you that know they say they think the iCarly theme song is about is about these horrible people. So the first lyric goes, I know, you see, somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. And they're like, oh, she wanted to change the world. She wants to change the world just like Adolf Hitler did. Like, you'll find that all of their arguments are just so loosely based and it's so horrible. <laughs> live life breathe air i know somehow we're gonna get there and feel so wonderful they had they had nothing to really say about this one um just that she's trying her best to push her agenda or something um and then she says i will make you change your mind and these things happen all the time and it's all real i'm telling you just how i feel like she's trying to like force you to change your mind to I to make her your beliefs like match with hers and I'm sorry I'm laughing so much about this guys this is just the stupidest fucking thing that I have ever seen in my life and then this is the one that they're like yes this is it this is the one that makes a song about neo-nazis so wake up the members of my nation it's your time to be there's no chance unless you take one and the time to see the brighter side of every situation. Some things are meant to be, so give me your best and leave the rest to me. And they're like, oh, she's waking up the members of her nation, like causing them to rise up just like Hitler did with the Nazis in World War II and um, uh, leave it all in her hands and she'll take care of it. <laughs> and it's just like, what the hell? <laughs> I know it's time to raise the hand that draws the line and be so wonderful. And people are like arguing, like it's weird that she, that they didn't say hands, like raise your hands, like to the music and stuff. They just put hand and they're like, that's the Nazi salute. That's the Nazi salute right there. And Oh my God. And then golden sunshine. I know somehow it's going to be mine and feel so wonderful. And they're like golden sunshine um, we can attribute that with, like, uh, like the, the Golden Sun, like, Golden Dawn or something, which is apparently, like, a hermetic order by, like, Aleister Crowley, and they're like, Aleister Crowley's, like, a, uh, he's, like, a really well-known, I can't think, uh, like, anti-Semitic person, so this song has to be about neo-Nazis, it mentions the Golden Dawn. 
man. <laughs> Show me what you can become. There's a dream in everyone, and it's all real. I'm telling you just how I feel. And then it says, so wake up the members of my nation, and um, just repeats that again. And they're like, it repeats it twice, so, oh, it's got to be real. It's got to be real. So make it mine and see it through. You know you won't be free until you wake up the members of my nation. <laughs> So she's just trying to say like, and they're like, she's trying to say that she's that that we're nothing without her, and it's. I can't tell if it's a joke conspiracy theory. I don't even know where this originated from. It, I I found it like on some PDF file from like some college's like joke conspiracy theory day like um ad or like like school pamphlet or something i don't know if the buddhism hotline guy found it from that if he made it up entirely on his own and people adopted it but it's just weird there's just a small community out there of people that are believing that the carly theme song is about fucking neo-nazis now granted just for the record i'm on cryptocast and i hope and i hope all of you guys agree with me as well we do not support neo-nazis or nazis or bigotry racism of any kind on the show so I just wanted to do this one today, though, just because I thought it would be really, really weird to talk about, really just kind of out there, and I just, <sighs> this is why I left a lot of the conspiracy theory ch um, chats that I've been in in the past. They've just gotten so weird, and I'm kind of glad I was not in this one, like, in there while this theory is just kind of slowly, slowly trickling out of the woodworks. This one is just probably... The weirdest one that I've ever heard. I really, really don't know if the guy in the hotline made it up, if he found it in that article, or I don't know. But all I, or if it's like a joke theory. But as far as I'm concerned, there's like just a small, 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 like minuscule community out there that really believes that this is true, and it's just, it's just so weird. It's just so weird. And people are like arguing like, yeah, this is like the. Like, they put, like, subliminal messages. There's no subliminal messages in an iCarly theme song. So I just wanted to share this one with you guys today. Just very, very weird. Very, very obscure. So just be careful next time you watch iCarly. Um, but with that being said, guys, I've been your host, Parker. You've been watching CryptoCast. Stay spooky. Be sure to wear your tinfoil hats. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.